Hello and welcome. So today what I want to do is give you a rough overview of a site that I've been working on. It's nearly finished and it's another Panels, panels Everywhere site uh, running on Drupal 7 um, but this one has got the addition of Drupal Commerce. Now I've found that uh, the combination of Drupal Commerce, Panels and Panels Everywhere to build up your site is really really powerful and very very flexible. You can do almost anything you can think of e-commerce wise um, with this setup. So it's not really a tutorial, this screencast. I thought I'd just, uh, we'll go into the admin section, have a look around, see how it's put together. Um, uh, but it's not going to be too much uh, tutorial based. So I have got some other tutorials coming, some Drupal 7 tutorials I know people have been waiting for for a long time. And I uh, apologize for the delay, it's been really annoying. I actually did a whole load of recording back in May. Um, but when I came to edit them, for some reason the audio was out of sync with the video, which is a real problem. Uh, I don't think they're completely ruined, but it's going to take some time when I've got some free time to sit down, sort through them, and um, yeah, try and put them together. So in the meantime, let's have a look at this uh, this site. Let's go through and see what we got. So we've got Flow and Us. This is a, a shop based where I used to live in Sidmouth in Devon. They do uh, organic soaps. They make their own soaps, hand creams, um, that sort of thing. So it's a uh, it's quite a comprehensive e-commerce shop. They've got quite a few things that they make, and they wanted wanted the, the ability to add quite a lot of extra information about their products. So let's log in. Uh, we can see that we can register here and we can also, if we forgot our password, we can use that form. But uh, if we just have a, have a login, we can see that it takes us to the dashboard. Now this is the, this is the kind of thing that I'm doing with panels at the moment. It enables you to have um, different dashboards for different users and we can see that I've logged in with the admin here. Let's just look over to another um, to Chrome and I'll log in using a sort of customer ID. Let's log in. And we can see that we're taken through to a different dashboard. Now this is just a, a simple dashboard that's set up. Like I say, this site isn't quite finished but uh, it shows you that um, this is slightly different. We've got uh, welcome customer because customer is the username and we just show the orders here. So we've got different roles, different dashboards for different roles. So let's go back to the site. So this is our dashboard. This is always at uh, forward slash user. Uh, this is where we can get back to. Uh, we can click my, my dashboard all the time to come back here. And this is where we've got for our admin users, we've got some basic functionality. We've got uh, adding blog posts, managing the products, uh, managing the orders, and managing the newsletter as well, subscribers, create newsletter, etc. So let's have a quick look around the site. We've got uh, the About Us section, just containing some pages here, um, whereabouts they're located, um, delivery information, um, reasons to buy from them, all that sort of thing. We've also got the catalogue. Uh, now this is not particularly finished yet, but this is just uh, a list of different um, categories in their catalogue. Then we've got uh, this which is just uh, natural skincare products. This is some of the products that they offer um, in the natural skincare, in natural skincare uh, range. And we've also got the organic soap products as well. Again this needs to be themed more um, but just to give you a rough idea of, of how this site is laid out. We can flick through and we can see the different products. Uh, we can narrow it down to face cream. This is all done with taxonomy. Um, organic oil soap and if you need to buy a gift for anybody by the way this is the shop to come to their stuff is great I really love it so they also do treatments um, this is also set up with taxonomy um, we can flick through and see what treatments they um, offer in Sidmouth and finally we've got special offers along the top here now the special offers page is just a newsletter um, form and the newsletter mod module we've got running is simple news um, but that allows us to have this nice form up the top here. So you can't really see it uh, logged in. So I'll, I'll log out. We've got this nice form up the top here where we can add our email and join the newsletter. And also on the special offers, offers page, we've got this uh, newsletter form. At a later date, what we might do is when we create special offers, um, add some of them to this page uh, as well as having the newsletter form there. So then we've got these extra, um, this extra menu down here, which just gives a few extra options for ordering. Um, if people want to order by phone or have a quick order form, if they know the products they already need, they can just fill these. And these are just basic um, web forms here. So we've got quick order form, order by phone, um, 
what our customers say. We're going to add some, some uh, testimonials in here. The free skincare advice, that's going to be a blog which gets added to. And get in touch is just a standard contact page. Uh, then if we have a, done, a look at the footer, uh, their address, uh, telephone number, you can read more about them and some useful links. So that's the basic site setup. It's not too complicated, but it's, uh, it was, it's quite a lot of work to get it all nicely themed and looking good. So well, let's log in again. So we've got Drupal Commerce running and we can see um, the basic commerce uh, system here. If we go to, for example, orders, we can see all of our orders and this is all accessible from the dashboard. If we click on orders, you can see all the orders, uh, products, we've got all the products lined up. This is just a view of the product displays because in Drupal Commerce they split the product displays and the products. Now this can seem awkward at first but it's actually really quite powerful because um, for example if you load up, um, I don't know, let's just have a look at some one of these products. We've got the product page themed here in the add to cart form. If we change uh, this, this is set up as two different products loaded into the same form, we can see that the picture changes and the price can change as well and the stock and everything else. So we can see that we can choose our fragrance of this soap, we can add um, to the cart, and uh, is that added? Yes, that's been added. If we view the cart now we can see our items in there. So. Um, we can then, if we go on, we can see that I've themed the checkout quite uh, substantially as well. So this is the cart page, uh, forward slash cart. Um, we've just added, please review your basket and some text. Or we can change the quantity there if we want to. If we go on to checkout, we can see that this is also themed um, in a way which looks a little bit more inviting than just the long form. So you've got the summary at the top. You've got um, billing information here. The shipping information. This is new in the, dev, in the dev version of Drupal Commerce. You can add in a button which says, take your shipping information from your billing information, or vice versa. So you can either fill out this whole form, or you can just tick this box, and um, that's remembered. It's also set up, this uh, page is set up with floats uh, to the left or to the right, and different widths and percentages. So hopefully what you'll see, um, we haven't quite finished making it mobile ready yet, but as you drag, smaller we see this page um, slots in and eventually the idea is that it's going to be wide enough for the iPhone and you'll just have this form all stacked up. So you can go through this, uh, let's, fill, let's fill this in and click continue. We then have the review page, we can click uh, continue and then it's going to take us off to um, PayPal. We've got proceed to PayPal, the button here, but it's also automatically forwards you to there. So you can pay there. So let's uh, cancel that and return to the shop. Let's have a look how this is being put together. Now what we've got is we've got panels and panels everywhere. Now panels everywhere is handling the theme. It's handling this header. This is a mini panel with the logo on one side, the, shopping, uh, the newsletter and the shopping cart on the other. We've also got a mini panel at the bottom, footer. Um, that contains the logo, some text and some other stuff. Those are placed on the page onto the main site template using the Panels Everywhere system. So when you first install Panels, uh, you'll be going on Panels Everywhere, you'll, be, you, you'll want to pick a theme which goes with Panels and then you'll be going to the Panels um, options which is in Panels, Settings, Everywhere. Here you can see I've got Enable Panels Everywhere, I've got that ticked and I've also got Provide a Sample Template. Now if we go to the main Panels page uh, this part here, the default site template, that's the bit which deals with panels everywhere. The rest of this is just standard panel stuff. So if we want to override a node, for example, we want to override how the home page looks, we go to node template. If we want to override a taxonomy term, we look in taxonomy term template, um, and so on and so forth, all down through here. Interesting enough, if you want to override the user page and make it into a dashboard, you can use the user profile template. We'll have a look at a bit, uh, look at that a bit later on. So we've got this default site template here. This is the panels everywhere area. If I click edit, we can see that we've got four templates here. The, the, the fourth one I'm not using. That was just the standard one that's added. In fact, you don't really need to add that in. 
Um, the main one is this main site template. If we go to content, we can see that we've got our header mini panel here, then we've got the main menu, then we've got these the links logged in and logged out. Uh, let's just open up another page so we can have a look. We've got the, the mini panel here, then we've got the main menu with Home About Us, then we've got the user links, those are these links here, My Dashboard and Log Out. And what I've done is these user links have a visibility rule on them. So we've got the logged in ones, that's with My Dashboard and Log Out, and we've got the logged out ones, that's with Log In and Create Account. Now these have just got a visibility rule added to them which says show these to the anonymous user and the other one logged in that visibility rule is show this to the anonymous user and reverse so everybody but the anonymous user so those are floated to the right using CSS and put in the right place here we've next got the sub menu and that's the menu which runs underneath here and we've got um, tabs, messages and the page content. So we have tabs, the messages aren't showing up because there isn't any messages active at the moment and then we have the page content which is everything inside the main area of the page. Now that's the thing which the standard panels modules takes over so if you're theming a node template that's going to take over this main area of the content. And so when you're theming a node template you're really theming this page content area. At the base here we've got the footer and that's just another mini panel placed into the bottom. Now very quickly to place content onto this template you can just click the cog, click add content and then choose from a whole load of content you can add to panels, you can add views, you can add blocks, mini panels, forms and also page elements with um, panels everywhere so very very flexible in how you can do that. So when you've added something, you can add some other options on this left, on the right hand cog, and that is, for example, you can add CSS, you can change the settings, add visibility rules, and there's a few other things there. So for the main thing, the main theming thing I'm using with this site is, first of all, I'm using the vis visibility rules to show and hide the odd bit of content which I want to show and hide to different users, mainly these links. But the main thing is the CSS. Um, properties. So if we have a look here and we click on CSS properties, this is the CSS properties for the um, mini panel, um, we can see this says panel dash header. Now I've got an ID in my CSS, let's just have a look. Um, if I type in panel header, it's a little bit small I don't know if we're going to be able to zoom in there. 